Hey guys, this is Ash, and you're watching Ride Gash. So it's day four of the reading rush, and I've finished reading half of the Rose Effect and half of Nexus. I've been reading both of those simultaneously, with the Rose Effect being an audiobook and um, Nexus being an ebook. I am trying to read both of those today, finish them today, because my goal is to add another book to my TBR because I want to also read the book that's the book club book for The Reading Rush. And oh, and by the way, that book is such a fun age and it sounded really interesting. So I just thought I'd add it in case I can get to it. So I'm going to attempt it and it's got a blue cover. So I might replace 10 Things I Hate About Pinky with that book in case I can't get to 10 Things I hit about pinky i'm still meeting the challenge for the gridstone with a different book rather than just counting sight unseen as blue book but if i finish the two books today that i'm currently reading i will have completed all the challenges except for the seven books in seven days and the book club thing and it's been quite a reading week i've really gotten back into reading because of this i I, that's that's why I love the reading rush because it just makes you read and motivates you to read and I just needed that. I haven't read in the longest time. So it's been a fun week so far and I'm hoping it's as productive as it has been so far for the rest of the week. And I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so I've been reading Nexus and The Rosie Project all day. And I have maybe two hours of the audiobook left for the Rosie Project and about one third of the book for Nexus left. And I'm hoping in the next few hours I'll be done with both of the books and move on to reading 10 Things I Hate About Pinky. And hope I'm hoping that I get done with that by the end of tomorrow. So far I haven't really done any Twitter sprints today or anything, but I've just been focusing on reading and getting some work done while I read the audiobook as well. And it's been a productive day. Alright, so I finished The Rosie Project and Nexus. And that's a total of five books and it's day four. That means I am ahead of my original plan. So I might actually be able to read eight books. Okay, so let's talk about the books themselves. Let's start with The Rosie Project, which was for the challenge to read a book from loca uh, set in a continent different from my own. And it was an interesting book, but I wasn't absolutely crazy about it. Um, it just felt like there were ups and downs where I liked it, and then I was kind of bored by it. The characters were interesting, but they weren't like the male character was very charming but the female character really didn't make an impact on me and also the book kind of excused um the male character's best friend cheating and i really am opposed to that altogether i understand that like it didn't glorify it nor did it say it was a good thing and it in the book the male the male protagonist uh, goes up to the best friend and he's like no what you're doing is wrong and blah 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 but it still didn't feel like the book addressed it all too well and i loved that i loved how quirky the male protagonist was he reminded me of sheldon cooper and it was just adorable and it was fun to read and but it wasn't the best contemporary i've read this week and I am just ready to move on to the next one. Now, moving on to Nexus. It was the first um, sci-fi I've read since I read Zenith, like two years ago. And it was a really good book. I enjoyed it. I loved the ending. I love that Andy became the commander and I love women in power. And this book is just an amazing book. And Although I do wish like the plot itself was more stretched out over time like there was more going on instead of just like i do wish that we had more from the protagonist's point of view instead of switching between the protagonist and the other 
character's point of view. I understood the reasoning for it. Like I got why we needed it from two of the villains' points of views, although they weren't fully villains at the very end. But I understood that, but I kind of would have appreciated it having more scenes from the protagonist's point of view. Or maybe even some scenes from the point of view of the other members in Andy's crew who were under the influence of Queen Noor. That would have been a fun thing to read about. Anyway, both of those books were good and I really did enjoy reading them. And I'm just looking forward to reading more. I've already read five books this week and that's more than I've read in the last two months, which is great. And it's just making me want to read again, which I'm happy about. So my plan is to start reading The Blind Date now and to read it for another hour or so tonight before going to bed and then finishing that tomorrow and beginning um, 10 Things I Hate About Pinky. I'm hoping that I get done with those two books by Saturday so I can spend Saturday and Sunday in reading Such a Fun Age, which is part of the Reading Rush book club. And hopefully I'll be able to get all of that done. I'll see you guys later.